Hello and welcome to a new video. I've been asked how can I send signals to multiple outputs because I have my control room and I want to send my signal to multiple outputs to other artists. They have their own headphones and perhaps they want to have their own mix. So I've created a short loop. And here is the mixer and we've got the stereo out. So first of all, I create a new out at the audio connections. I go not to the inputs or something else. I go to the outputs and I say add bus or I can do this. Let's do stereo and let's say headphones. Here I choose the output of the interface and you can see it's been edited here. So let's have a look. So we can hear it, but the artist can't hear it. So what can we do? First of all, very easy. We can use the sense and let's use quick link and I choose headphones. Bam. So here we are. And first of all, let's use it uh, post fader. And let's set them to zero. And when I turn down the drums and the bass, you see here is the same signal as here and now nothing. So this fader are not working independently, but we can change this. We say, Prefader, and you can see this signal is louder. We set them to zero, but the bass here is set to uh, let's see nearly minus nine, and here is set to zero. And perhaps. Your artist says, okay, um, I want to have the bass, but I want to have less drums. Okay. And now the artist says, um, I want to have no bass and just a little bit drums. Okay, so it can be easier. You can say, I just want to send the whole signal of the stereo out to the headphones. So the headphones are getting the same signal as the stereo out. You can't change the volumes from bass or drums or something else. And there is another solution. We want to see the direct routing. And now here we say headphones and here we say headphones two first of all uh, let's do this so and now we can send the signal to stereo out or the headphones you can switch but when i press headphones and then I press the shift button or shift key. You see, now I'm sending the signal to the headphones to, to the next output. And I can choose a lot of outputs. When you have multiple outputs, I can choose them all. When you want to deactivate the summing mode, just do this right click here and now you can switch. So these are a few solutions, but the best solution is not doing this. The best solution is another one for this. I remove this one. And now I activate the control room. The control room is awesome. A lot of people don't use it. And now I go to the outputs. Do not connect it because the signal goes to the control room and will be heard here. 
So when I have activated the output here, I hear the signal twice and this can sound very strange. Okay, so here is the control room and very important, now I've got the queue. When you don't have a queue, just add one. So we can say add queue. Not headphone, well, you will say I want to set the signal to headphones. Why don't I have to use this one? I show you this in a few seconds. Now it's the queue. And let's say this is Peter. And this one is Megan. Let's do this. Okay, so here are the outputs of the interface and here are the outputs of the so the other outputs, okay. And now we've got here the cues. We've got Megan and we've got Peter. And how can we send the signal to them? We want to see the Q sense. When you don't see them, we go to here. And now here are the Q sense. So Megan and Peter. And you can see the levels of them. And now the great thing is Peter says, well, I want to have the whole signal lower and I don't want to turn the knobs here. I just want to concentrate on my performance. Okay. You can control the volume and you can control more so here are Megan and Peter and we can set this fader to pre and post. And the crazy thing is the colors are not very differently and they are different to the sense we've seen before. So when you want to see how can I do it uh, to post fader or pre fader when you are not sure here you can see move to post fader. Now it's pre-fader and let's say we want to do a post-fader do this and here post-fader post-fader and now when I change the volume here it changes here too but now we want to have independently mixes uh, independent mixes and now let's set this one to prefader so and you can see this one is zero this one is minus 10 so let's set this one to minus 10 and this one to minus 10 too so we've got the same mix sending to here But when I turn down the fader, we will hear the signal. Uh, we will see the signal here. And now Megan says, well, I want to have low bass. So do this. And then Peter says, well, I want to have more drums. So Peter gets more drums. And uh, so now we can hear what the different signals are. So this is the mix. And now we can hear what Megan is hearing and what Peter is hearing. And let's change this. We do this. Yeah, and it can be very time consuming when you got a mix 
with a lot of signals and then you want to set all the fader to the right send levels. So what can you do? We go to here and then we've got control room Q channels and let's say all cues from selected mixer channels. So we do this and we go to here, all cues from selected mixer channels, change Q send levels and so he, he asked me So that's not been what I wanted to do. Let's do this change Q cent levels. So this one, sorry. Yeah, now it's right. And when I do this and this, I go to here from selected mixer channels. Use current mix levels. Done. So this is very easy. And you can do more here. Here is the talkback button. So this is my talkback. And I had to create this talkback here. And you can see, not really now, when I talk there should be a signal coming in but what's going on here there is no signal coming ah sorry here's the signal sorry <laughs> i deactivated the talkback okay and here are megan and peter and perhaps megan doesn't like me uh, to talk so i deactivate the talkback here just peter can see me, uh, can hear me, and then Peter tells me, well, your voice is too loud, okay, so I can turn down my voice here, and then we use the click, and let's go to here, and Megan wants to hear the click. She doesn't want to hear me, but she wants to hear the click. So I activate the click, but Peter doesn't want to like the click. And now Peter is hearing his headphones just on the left ear, but not at the right ear. So it can be very dangerous that you hear the click at the microphone. So I just pan this one to the left and done. So this is very great and awesome. So what's about the headphone mix? Where I told you don't use it. Um, you can use it, but another way. So I create the headphone and where is it? Uh, yeah, here is it. Okay. <laughs> now here are the phones. And we don't have so much possibilities. You see, I don't have sense for the phones. So I can't create a special mix for the phones. The phones can hear the mix or the phones can hear Q1 or Q2 but I can't create a several, uh, another mix for the phones. So the phones are just for the people at the control room, for all the producer. And perhaps one of the guys doesn't want to hear it so much loud, so I can turn it down. And one of the producer wants to hear the click, this one, this guy, and he doesn't want to hear the click and we've got the listen function and so on, but that's all. So when you want to send the signal to artists, just use Q and it will be very great.
So that's been the QSense, just one feature of the control room. It's an awesome tool. And here I created another video where you see what you can do with the control room. When you like this video, please give me a thumb up. When you get some questions or suggestions, just leave a comment and see you the next time. Bye.